Today we're gonna to be going over 10 of the best signature scents that you can buy that will have you covered for any situation. The best part is pretty much everybody is gonna love the smell of these. So when it comes down to choosing a signature scent, there's a few things you wanna look at. First, you wanna look at price point, okay? Because you gotta keep in mind, if you're gonna be wearing this every day like you would a signature scent, or at least, you know, most days of the week, you're gonna run through the bottle much quicker. Look at the price per milliliter, not just the final price of the bottle. For example, if you're looking at a scent that is a 50 ml bottle for, you know, 80 bucks, you know, $80 might not sound horrible to you, but keep in mind, there's a big difference between 50 ml going for 80 and 100 ml going for 80, or even 150 ml going for 80. So it's something to keep in mind, and that can really get you into trouble with niche fragrances if you were to ever use any of those as a signature scent. The other thing you're gonna be looking at is versatility, probably more so important here with this one. It's gotta be something that's gonna hold up to warm summer days and cool winter days as well. And ultimately, kind of a bonus one, but one that's gonna be important for a lot of people, mass appeal. You would like it to at least smell decent to people around you, so that way you're not walking around all the time completely offending people and uh, just getting some, some negative reactions often. So, you know, if you get all those things down, you'll really be set up and you won't have to put much thought into it at all, and that's what these 10 do. Budget is all subjective. Some of these are a little bit more expensive than others. It's gonna be up for you to take a look at your financial situation and what you're comfortable with spending and make that decision for yourself. That being said, I will provide links to all of these down below to discounters so you can pick any of these up if you are interested. Um, that's gonna be the best way for you to save the most amount of money and then you can put that money towards whatever else it may be instead of blowing it all at retail and spending way more than you need to. Let's actually get it kicked off with Azaro Chrome Parfum. So this one just came out. My advice to you is wait for it to hit discounters, hopefully this summer, maybe uh, later on in the summer. The reason why I'm putting this one here now is because I want to make you aware of it now. I want you guys to be looking for this one on discounters. I don't really think it's worth running out and paying retail for it when you know at some point you'll be able to get it for half the price. So, you know, just be looking around. I will send out an email to my mailing list and post on my community tab once this does become available for a price below retail, like a pretty heavy price below, not just a little bit off. Uh, that way you can pick it up and really save a lot of money. Once this one is in the $40 to $50 range, kind of like a Zaro Chrome uh, Extreme, for example, that will be the perfect time to buy. And I think it would be worth every bit of $40, $45, $50. Smells fantastic. I think it's a really good flanker, one of the better ones. Uh, it's got bergamot, sage, and fir resin. That's really all they give you, but it's really all you need to know. It's not a, something that's gonna blow you away, but at the same time, it's a really nice take on the fresh DNA. That fir resin smells great, gives it a little bit more of a masculine, mature kind of woodiness to some extent. Great stuff that's gonna be perfect for really any time of year. Next up, we have Perry Ellis Sky. Similar deal with this one. Perry Ellis fragrances can be had usually around $20 to $30, sometimes even a bit less. That's the price point you want to be picking this one up for, okay? Don't go out and pay full retail for stuff like this when you can get it for a cheapy price on discounters. Now, this one's got lime, bergamot, ambroxan, lavender, some musk in here as well. Another one that's gonna be very fresh leaning, very versatile, great people pleaser. Nothing that's gonna be super unique or brand new, but at the same time, this type of scent DNA is something you can wear every single day and really not get sick of it, and you're not going to annoy everyone else around you either. Now this next one is a little bit more expensive, even at discounters when it's in stock, you're gonna be around the $100 price point, and I believe it is a 4.2 ounce, 125 ml. It is a parfum concentration, a true parfum, not just labeled as such. Uh, so you are getting more bang for your buck there. You get decent performance out of it as well. It's Armani Code Parfum. Their newest release, aside from the Eau de Toilette re-release, right? But in terms of new compositions, this is the current newest one. 
and I think it is fantastic. Now it does have that signature tonka bean, bergamot, cedar wood mixture, but with the addition of iris, and that's what sets this one over the edge into something that is truly amazing. It's silkier, it's creamier, and look, at the end of the day, iris is kind of one of those trends that's really been picking up over the past several years, and doesn't seem to be going anywhere, and I'm completely okay with it. Like I had mentioned previously, a little bit more expensive. That being said, you don't need a ton of this either when you apply it, not like you have to go with 20 sprays or something. So this one will get you along for quite a while. One thing that is nice about these is they're refillable. So when you do burn through your bottle, if you're wearing it every day, you can buy a refill and it will actually be cheaper than buying a new full presentation bottle. I think the refills are a little bit larger than the bottle, but I could be wrong, but they're cheaper than buying the bottle again. So it's a great way to save money. And a lot of the big brands are going towards the refillable route these days. It's a great way to save money if you wear it all the time. This next one you can usually get on discounters for around $40 for 100 milliliters when it's in stock. Lacoste 1212 Blanc Eau Fresh. I believe this one came out either last year or the year before. Uh, I wore this one heavily, as you could probably tell. Normally, a dent like that for something relatively new is very uncommon here for me because I'm testing all the new releases, I've got other things that I like to wear, and so on. This one really made a great impression on me. I think it's fantastic. It's got grapefruit, ginger, apple, a lot of musk. I wore it a ton uh, when it first came out, and I do believe it was a spring, early summer release. Again, I can't remember for sure if it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year, but I was using it a lot. Uh, this one impressed me, and it still does. Brings back great memories, smells fantastic. It is super clean, super easy to wear. Green, as you can tell by the bottle, that's not just a fluke, it does have a green aromatic smell to it. Super, super likable for pretty much anybody. You can wear this all the time and not get sick of it. It's got great performance given that it's generally just a fresh scent all the way through. Even great quality for the price. This one's really well done and a great signature scent. Next up, Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense by Givenchy. So um, a lot in this line are really good. However, only a few are signature scent worthy in my opinion. You got things like Gentleman Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé, and you know, maybe even Boise. Those aren't quite as signature scent worthy. They just aren't gonna hold up in the warmer months of the year. Now this by no means is a straight up summer scent either. It's got tonka bean, iris, cypress, some other woods going on. So it's not an aquatic, it's not a citrusy, it's not a fresh scent, right? However, this is one of those things where it kind of touches on several different styles. You got a little bit of a freshness, a woodiness, and a sweetness. And so it's not gonna be the best choice for the hottest of summer days. It also isn't gonna be the best choice for the coldest of winter days either. It's kind of one of those jack of all trades, master of none. It, it just works okay for pretty much everything. And that may sound lame, but it's pretty rare to actually come across something like that. So great signature scent if you want something a little bit more refined and sophisticated with a unique twist. Okay, next up, Valentino Womo Born in Roma. So we're kind of more so targeting the younger audience here with this one because this is a little bit more of a bubblegummy sweet type of summertime scent. Yeah, that sounds backwards, but it's kind of what it is. Now, this one's got mineral notes, violet leaf, some sea salt in here, um, kind of that, you know, sweet YSLY Invictus -E, Invictus Aqua type of thing going on. That's what this one has to me anyway. And, you know, it just is very much a youthful style of scent. It's not gonna be for everybody. It's nothing brand new either. However, it does have great versatility. It can hold up for those warmer days. It's very playful, it smells great, it's fun, it's relaxing, but it has that sweetness even for some winter days as well. Again, maybe not best suited for the hottest of summer days or the coldest of winter days, but it just does a lot of things really well. Let's keep it moving with a more premium option here. Uh, this one's gonna be for someone who is not really focusing on budget first and foremost, more so just smell and getting the best product that you can get for the price and something ultimately that's a little bit more luxurious and premium, but still sticking with the designer. Uh, Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Yes, you know, it's expensive. You can't really get it at discounters. 
you got to pay full retail for this. Um, and that's just kind of how Chanel is in general. That being said, they are worth the investment. And believe it or not, yes, people wear this as their signature scent. And now you can actually get a pretty good deal if you go for the 150s. I bought all of my Blue to Chanel's in the 150 ml bottle size like this one. So it's pretty good bang for your buck. You won't have to really rebuy this one all that quickly. That extra 50 goes a long way and you can really extend your investment by going this direction. If you were to buy a 100 ml and then a 50 ml, you would be paying more than if you were to buy a 150 ml bottle. That's where the price per mil math really comes into play. And you gotta make sure you're looking at that when you're buying things. And generally speaking, if you are gonna be looking at purchasing any of these as a signature scent, my advice to you, buy the biggest bottle that you can get right off the bat and just be done with it. It might hurt a little bit more, might sting up front, but you won't regret it when you burn through it and realize that you actually saved money doing so. This one's got grapefruit, lemon, incense, amber, it's blue to Chanel, everybody knows it. Uh, it's one of the most luxurious blue fragrances that you can get. It's the pioneer of this DNA, which is still going on even to this day. And I mean, it's truly a luxury designer and it's a great one to wear on a daily basis. Personally, I could never get sick of smelling this. Let's go back over to a more affordable one with Ferragamo Womo Casual Life, right around the $40 range, kind of going back in the more affordable direction here. It's got violet leaf, lemon, coffee, and ambroxan. Nice little twist there. Kind of touching over to Ferragamo Womo's signature with that coffee accord, but then very much a fresher take with all of the citrus and the violet leaf and the musk and the nice, bright, sparkling ambroxan off of this one. Very clean. Very fresh, uplifting, playful, relaxing. It smells great. Nothing that's gonna completely blow you away, but it is something that you can just wear for anything. People are going to love it. And most of you guys probably aren't really gonna get sick of this one. You're not gonna mind it. You know, it's just pleasant. It's super easy to wear. You don't have to think about it. You can just pick up this bottle, spray it on, and then you're good for any situation. I think that's pretty cool and it does come in handy. This next one also is a bit more expensive. However, if you are not really too concerned about your budget and you want something that's gonna have premium quality, uh, something that is going to ultimately be unique and stand out because a lot of guys aren't gonna be wearing this style of scent anymore these days, this would be a great way to go. Mostly looking at my crowd that's a little bit more mature, wanting something to be taken seriously. Tom Ford Beau Du Jour, okay? Now, I don't know the pricing on this one at discounters right now. I know it's nowhere near cheap, okay? So again, this is not gonna be the option for everybody, not only from a budget standpoint, but even the scent. It's an aromatic fougere, it's more classic smelling. It's got lavender, patchouli, rosemary, oak moss. Uh, I do recommend if you are into barbershop scents to check this one out. Uh, it's one of the better ones out there that's being produced right now that isn't crazy expensive either. Um, you know, it's a Tom Ford, it's a premium designer product. It's gonna be going for a pretty penny. Uh, that being said, it is a really nice one if you are looking for something like this to wear on a daily basis. Um, even if it's not every day, but if you have business meetings often, you know, two, three times a week, this would be a great one to go with. A couple sprays is all you need, especially for a meeting, right? You don't wanna be going too crazy with it. It'll last you a long time and you will definitely command respect with this one. Last up for this video, Bottega Veneta Pour Homme, just the original Eau de Toilette. Kind of in a similar style of being a little bit more classic and more traditional. It's got pine, juniper, and leather in here. One of my favorites, literally smells like the outdoors to me. That's how I describe this one. Very much an outdoorsman scent. Smells like you're out in the woods, just spending time in nature, very masculine. Almost smells like a lumberjack. You know, again, more traditional. It's not sweet and bubblegummy and aquatic and playful and uh, you know all of the above, blue fragrancy, it's none of that. So if you are sick of all of that, this is one you should get. A little bit more expensive as well, I believe it's a 90 ml bottle here. Yeah, three ounce, 90 ml, right around $100 on discounters. A little bit more of a premium luxury price. However, you know, little goes a long way. It'll set you apart from the rest. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 of the best signature scents you can buy that will work for anything and people are going to love them. Links will be down below. Also, deals will be going out to my mailing list on an almost daily basis. If you're looking to get any rare, discontinued, or hard to find scents, sign up at the first link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.